So I'm Paul Vizio. I am the Director of Hardware Engineering at Proteus Motion. Uh, I'm in charge of everything hardware related for Proteus Motion. So initial brainstorming, concept development, prototyping, all the way through production and getting our uh, machines manufactured. The Proteus system is a hardware and software platform. Uh, and it's the first of its kind to enable uh, both measuring and training in three-dimensional space. Um, so it's kind of a brand new modal of training that hasn't existed before. As we got to the new products and we realized that we wanted to make a real company out of this, we knew that we had to get something more formal, something more structured, a much more powerful system. So SolidWorks was obviously the first thing that we thought about. Um, all of us in the hardware team, that's basically our primary CAD program, so that was the first on our list. We also looked at some other ones, some of the other big names out there just to do our due diligence. Um, but really we had some unique considerations too, and uh, obviously cost is one of them, but uh, as a startup, we didn't have an IT department, we didn't have any servers, we didn't have any type of infrastructure whatsoever. So we needed some type of system that was flexible for how we worked. And when we were looking at software, we were also pretty pretty deep in the pandemic. Um, so we were doing remote work as well. So any type of server or infrastructure, even knowing where to set it up, even if we had the right teams to do so, just wasn't gonna work out. So um, our, our biggest considerations were, were costs, uh, power, and then uh, really flexibility for our uh, typically cloud-based um, workflow. I first got experience with SolidWorks with the just pure desktop version where whoever had that computer can work on it. And then if you were, if you had like a second laptop or a work laptop or a home laptop, it's, you're kind of out of luck. You're only on that one. Uh, and then um, later on, I moved on to some of the network stuff. So as long as you had the right SolidWorks installed uh, and you checked out the license and you were VPN into the servers, then you could get SolidWorks up and running. Um, but this one works much more seamlessly uh, since it's in the cloud. So anywhere, any computer, like I have two different work computers, I have a personal computer, I have kind of computers everywhere. So for me, it's super easy. I just open up the website, click on launch SolidWorks, and then it takes me exactly to where I was on whatever computer I was working on before that. So just from a personal standpoint, it's super convenient. Uh, but then from a team standpoint, like I mentioned, we really got involved in our CAD search during COVID. At that point, we were fully remote. Um, here in New York City, obviously, we were remote for a long time. It kind of hit us a little bit hard. Uh, so it was really easy to just get it set up remotely where I didn't have to go through troubleshooting of like, somebody can't connect to this server, somebody can't connect here, troubleshoot this. Um, so for my team to get onboarded, it was super easy. Uh, I worked with CAD Dimensions to get them the license. An email got sent over and they had access immediately. So they just opened it up, downloaded it, and they were, they were on and they're ready to go. Um, and similarly for them, they all have their own computers, their own devices. Uh, we upgrade our computers every now and then. So it's just been really convenient that we could just go from computer to laptop to, you know, wherever we are on the go, um, just open it up and, and run with it. The CAD Dimensions team did a great job at um, basically using my computer as their remote computer to figure out how to set things up. Um, it took probably about a week or two until we got it fully resolved onto my computer, but the vast majority of that was just due to SolidWorks side of it being a brand new system. Throughout the process of like getting it set up, I had a lot of questions that I would say half were because it was a new, like a completely new platform, and the other half was because it was just things I hadn't used before. CAD Dimensions was super great at getting it set up, and they were taking calls late at night, early in the mornings, um, responding to my emails kind of all throughout the day. I really felt like we were kind of like a, a team on that, and it was a high priority project for them.